The term epigenetics refers to the post-replication modifications made to DNA that influence the expression of a gene without having to alter the actual genetic code. Think of it like an on-off switch for a certain gene. This on-off switch can be activated or deactivated depending on a variety of factors from environmental cues to developmental signals. Increasingly, researchers are finding that epigenetic markers accumulated while alive can be hereditarily passed on to your kids. Suddenly, as more information about this fascinating field becomes clear, people are asking, how do my habits today influence my future children? Should I exercise more? How can I keep my children and their genetic code safe? The enzyme, polycomrepressive complex 2, is a known genetic silencer that is vital to cell differentiation and development. Specifically, PRC2 trimethylates lysine 27 in the H3 histone subunit. This results in the silencing of a gene to, due to the modified nucleosome tightly condensing the chromatin to prevent transcription factors from interacting with the RAP DNA. PRC2 has three core subunits, EZH2, SUZ2, and EED, with cofactors JARID2, AEPB2, and RBAP46. Some publications cite RBAP46 as a fourth core subunit. PRC2 is a class 2 methyl transferase because of the EZH2 complex, which is the subunit with catalytic activity. What makes it a class 2 is its set domain. The set domain is a highly evolutionarily conserved protein domain that carries out methyl transferase activity. Within the set domain, three zinc binding domains help create a cofactor binding pocket and a portion of the substrate binding groove. The zinc atoms are also responsible for stabilizing the protein. Shown is the EZH2 subunit being inhibited by SAH, which is also a product of a proposed mechanism for protein methylation, that is converting SAM to SAH. The other two notable subunits, SUZ2 and EED not pictured, are non-catalytic but required for EZH2 function. EZH2 cannot carry out catalytic function without the binding of these subunits. SUZ2 has a zinc finger subunit which is known to facilitate protein binding to the genome target. Cofactors JARID2, AEBP2, and RBAP46 are equally important to the catalytic activity, but the level of dependence is unknown. Again, further investigation is needed to concretely determine the biochemistry of this protein. PRC2 is found most most often co-occupying transcription factor promoters for genes involved in cell differentiation and development. Inhibiting these transcription factors by repressing these promoters through trimethylation essentially shuts off the access to that transcription factor promoter that RNA polymerase requires to express the gene. Repressing the transcription factor will in turn inhibit the gene the transcription factor interacts with. In this manner, PRC2 represses gene expression. This activity is very important in development and cell differentiation for precisely this purpose. The transcription factors where PRC are found co-occupying are predominantly developmental transcription factors. These transcription factors play roles in embryonic stem cell commitment. For example, will they become a liver cell? A skin cell? Hox genes, which commit ES cells to adult tissue based on their relative location in an embryo, are common targets for PRC2, as are homeodomain transcription factors, evolutionarily conserved transcription factors that, again, specify ES cell fate. It was observed in one study that during differentiation, none of the genes typically repressed by methylation were methylated. When differentiation was not occurring, methylation was observed in the genes of interest. The ability to repress differentiation through methylation ensures select ES cells keep their pluripotency. That is, the cells can still be committed to different types of tissue. One issue with PRC2 is its link to cancer. More and more, scientists are looking into PRC2 and finding overexpression of PRC2 in adult cancer cells, specifically looking at EZH2 subunit. This makes sense since the EZH2 subunit is the subunit possessing catalytic activity that controls the methylation of genes. PRC2 can be seen silencing processes like cell checkpoints in the cell cycle and DNA damage repair, both of which, if inhibited, highly increase the probability of cancer. 
One of the most fascinating things about this protein is how little is really known about it in terms of specifics. It is unclear how exactly polycomb repressive complex 2 is recruited to the genome, nor is it exactly understood the scope of its function in the adult genome. What is known is that it can be activated or repressed by environmental cues in addition to developmental cues. These environmental cues are still being investigated but represent a new wave of epigenetic research on your body's relationship to its environment. Whether this be increased time spent in the sunlight, smoking habits, or exercise, the environment we live in has a large effect on our genome, with increasing scientific evidence backing it up. In a world filled with uncertainty, truly the only thing you can protect is yourself. So please, for the sake of your genome, take a hike, eat an apple, and don't forget your SPF.